In this episode of What's the Best Kayak for Senior Citizens, Whether You're a Man or a Woman, we're going to talk about paddles. Stay tuned. The type of paddle you get matters depending on whether you have a sit-on-top paddled kayak versus a pedaled kayak. With a pedal kayak, it doesn't really matter. Just get the, the cheapest paddle you can find because most of the time you're going to be using your pedals and you're only going to revert the paddles when something is wrong with your pedal or you're in really shallow water. So the weight of a cheap paddle doesn't really matter and the fact that it's not adjustable for length doesn't matter either. But if you are going to paddle then it matters in terms of what type of paddle you get. Now there are different kinds of form factors depending on whether you paddle high or paddle horizontal. And I'll put a link down in the description that's going to describe what those look like for each of those paddling types. So, but no matter which type you are, you're going to want to do two things. The first thing is, you're going to want to have this adjustable. And you need to get a paddle that has different adjustment points where you can make this match both your stroke and the width of your kayak. So on this one, you can see that I can move it way, way down to where it's really short, or if I've got a wide kayak, I can move it out to where it's fairly long. This is an expensive paddle. This costs over $100. It's made of the lightest material, and the expense is worth it if you're going to be paddling all day. The other thing you're going to want to do is make two modifications to your paddle to make sure that your kayaking for seniors event is as enjoyable as possible. The first is you want to protect yourself from drips. And so I put a little piece of duct tape here on the end of my paddle and that causes the water to hit the duct tape and then run down. And I've got a video that I'll link up at the end that shows you how to do that. The second thing is, is you're going to want to install some type of grip to allow you to have a good solid grip on the paddle and keep you from developing blisters. And you can either use a do-it-yourself solution like I've got right here, which is tennis racket wrap, and again, I'll link up that video on the end screen, or you can get a more commercially uh, better, well, they're both about the same, but this is a grippier product over here, and actually, if they're still in business, I'll link them up as well. The bottom line is, if you're going to paddle all day, you don't want to cheap out on the, on the paddle. This one is so much wider than the inexpensive one that only costs about $30 that it, it just, it, it's just amazing. I, before I got my pedal kayak, I paddled for a couple years and this is the paddle I use and I never felt fatigued at the end of the day. Yes, expensive, but you've already spent a fortune on getting the right kayak that's going to match your, your age, your body type, and your ability to get it to the water. So why not have a good day on the water and get a nice light paddle that's made with the right form factor down here at the end to match your paddling style. Be sure you look at the link I put uh, in the description if you're curious about how this makes a difference. Comments? Throw it down below. Thanks.